Today I'm going to show you a couple of ways how you can create the vintage film look for your photos in Lightroom. In the first method we're going to be using the built-in tools within Lightroom Classic and in the second method, which is actually way better than the first one, we're going to take a look at a plugin called Dehancer, which is actually the sponsor of this video, but more about them in a bit. And in the third method we're going to be using the presets built into Dehancer, which are a fantastic one-click option for you to create the film look. So let's get started. First of all, when you want to create a specific look, you want to look at reference photos to really know what you're going to be doing for your image. The way I like to do this is to go on Pinterest or just on Google and search for the type of photos that I'm trying to create. The reason I love Pinterest for this is that you can create a board and add all of the photos that fit the style you are going after into that board, so you can really easily see what the style that you're going for looks like. Reference photos will really help you out in creating a specific look for your images, but now that we have our references gathered, let's jump into Lightroom. For this tutorial, I'll be using this photo from my sister's wedding with her and her husband. We have a couple of copies here because we will be doing a couple of different edits. One thing that I noticed while looking at the reference images is that I really like a warm film look with the cool tones being very muted. So we can really easily do this in the HSL panel by bringing down the saturation of the cooler tones and the greens as well, and then bringing the greens more towards the yellow side and then the yellows towards orange so that they are a bit warmer and maybe I'll just go a bit higher with the saturation of the greens. Now one other noticeable thing is that the blacks are very lifted and the whites are pulled down and that can be very easily done with the curves by manipulating the white and the black points. Now one more thing that I'll do to get the exact look that I want is to add some warmth into the highlights with the color wheels. Now do keep in mind that there's a lot of personal preference going on with an edit like this, so the tweaks that you do to your image may not be the exact same that I do for my image. But one very distinct feature of film photos is the grain. Now before adding grain, I'll create a virtual copy of this photo because I'll be using that later on for Dehancer. Now we can increase the amount of grain as well as the size and the roughness, but that's just about it. Now just tweak these values until you are happy with the results and now we pretty much have a vintage style look for our image. But there's a very easy and a very good way to take it a step further with Dehancer. So Dehancer is a film look emulator or editor that integrates with Lightroom and other photo editing software as well as the most popular video editing software and they have an iOS app as well. As a quick disclaimer, Dehancer did give me their plugin for free to try out but they're not paying me anything to say anything specific about them. They also gave me a discount code to give you guys so you can get 10 version of any Dehancer desktop apps with the code Casper10. But now let's look at how Dehancer actually works. So in Lightroom I'm gonna right click on my image now, the one without the grain added and go to edit in and choose Dehancer and then click on edit. This will open up Dehancer with a copy of the selected image. Now as you can see you have a massive amount of tweaks that you can do to your image within Dehancer. On the left hand side you have all of the film stock profiles as well as the presets and on the right hand side you have all of the edits that you can do to your photo within Dehancer. Now going through all of these different tweaks that you can do within Dehancer would take a couple of videos on its own, so I'm just going to focus on my favorite tweaks for this video. So first of all, I want to select to use the original image to get rid of any tweaks that might be applied within Dehancer already. Now this is now the edited photo before we added any grain within Lightroom. That is also the first thing that we want to do here in Dehancer. So here in the right hand side we can scroll down to where it says film grain and straight away you can see how much more settings we have in Dehancer compared to Lightroom. Now instead of only having three sliders, we now have seven sliders and two additional settings. So we can really dial in the type of grain that we want to add to our image within Dehancer compared to what we could do in Lightroom. So what I want to do here is to make the film a little bit larger and bump up the amount as well. Now the resolution will essentially preserve or get rid of detail in the original file you have, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. With the shadows, midtones and highlight sliders, you can control the amount of grain in the different brightness areas of your image. So if you only want to have grain in the highlights, you can just take the shadows and midtones down to zero. What I want to do is actually the opposite, so I'm going to bump up the highlight grain value and take down the midtones and shadows a bit. With the color slider, you can also define how colorful your grain is going to be. In Lightroom, you can only add monochromatic or black and white grain to your image, but in Dehancer, you can add colorful grain, which will actually make it look a lot more natural because with color film, you will get colorful noise or grain as well. Now, once again, just tweak these settings until you are happy with the results. Now, you can also choose between a negative or a positive film grain and choose between analog or digital grain, but I would just leave these both as they are. So negative and analog. 
The digital grain would just add digital noise to your image, so that's something you definitely don't want to have while trying to create a film look for your photo. But now that we have added grain to our image, it's time to move on to the next two settings, which are halation and bloom, and they are tweaks that you really can't do in Lightroom at all, and Dehazer does them really, really well. So to better show you what we're doing here, I'm just going to turn off our grain for now. Now both the halation and bloom will bloom out or soften areas of your image, but just in a bit of a different way. Halation is going to bloom out contrasty areas and edges of objects, and it will do it by creating a reddish bloom around the edge of the object, and bloom will basically just bloom out highlights of your image, giving them a soft edge. I think halation and bloom are what really tie in the whole film look for your image and you really can't do them in Lightroom, so I think Dehancer is a very useful tool for you if you really want to create that authentic film look for your images. Now there are a few settings to tweak in both of them and they're kind of hard to explain, so just play around to see what setting does what and what works best for your photo. And the bad thing with Dehancer is that, as you can see, it renders the changes a bit slowly, but I don't think that's a massive issue. Now I'll just tweak these both until I am happy with the results and once we are done with the edits, let's just click on OK and now we have our edited photo back in Lightroom where you can further tweak it if you want to. Now because I know all of this is kind of a massive job for just one photo for one specific look, I wanted to drop in a quick note about Dehancer presets as well. So let's grab our original unedited photo and go back to edit in Dehancer. And in here we have a ton of presets to choose from and you can also create your own if you want to. Now you can scroll through them with the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to really quickly find a preset that you like. I like the Lamacro Metropolis XR, so I'll select that one. And you can further tweak this as much as you want to. And I'd, for example, like to add a bit more bloom in here. And I'd also like to increase the size of the grain a bit. And just like that, just with a couple of clicks, we have a film look created for our photo with the presets in Dehancer. And the presets are actually very fantastic. But that is it. That is how you create the film look in Lightroom with the built-in tools of Lightroom Classic and take it even further with Dehancer. Now, if anything is unclear, if you have any questions, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. And if you decide to try out Dehancer, just remember to use the code CASPER10 at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. But that is all I have for today. Thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one.